The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily represent those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting group. Access Fort Wayne is a department of the Allen County Public Library. If you or anyone you know might be interested in making a television show, please call 260-421-1250. Hi, Dr. Rudy Cashman, and welcome to the show, The Mind, Body, Spirit Show. Uh, today's uh, discussion will be about something very interesting. Uh, it's about kidney disease, how to prevent it. Yes, you can prevent it, but the majority of the time, uh, how to stop it and how to reverse it. Uh, we'll, and I will recommend, uh, if you have this problem, uh, a couple of books for you to use as a reference uh, that were written by a patient who uh, had the problem uh, and f for 20 years has avoided uh, dialysis and kidney transplant. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, a, a Lee Hall did that and I have the books and I'll show them to you. But let's go over some few basics uh, to begin with. Uh, you know, we have two kidneys uh, they're about the size of a fist, about five inches long. Uh, then in, in our uh, back and where I have my hand is about where they're at. Uh, uh, and uh, so what, what do they do? They remove waste from our body, just like our, our liver metabolizes some uh, chemicals and drugs in our body and waste. Uh, and, and then we have some that head straight for the urine, some head for the lungs, and we breathe them out. Uh, but uh, the kidneys are extremely important, and you really can't live uh, without them. Uh, without them, you'd be uh, on a machine, or, uh, 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 and, and that will only keep you going for, for so long. So how do they basically work? Uh, it's a filtering system, so it's got a filter in them, okay? It's called a glomerulus, okay? And what, it, what that is, uh, about a million uh, small uh, little collections of blood vessels. Uh, there are more endothelial blood vessels in one glomerulus than there are in the rest of your organs of your body. So, uh, uh, and the blood uh, delivers uh, itself uh, to the kidney, is, it goes through the filter and then goes through tubules. And a lot of it that is filtering is reabsorbed, like water uh, and a lot of the uh, chemicals, but some it wants to get rid of. Uh, and then they go out to two tubes, from, one from each kidney called ureters. They go into the bladder, uh, and the bladder is, is a, a holding system. Uh, and then through the urethra, uh, you urinate out about a gallon's worth uh, 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 per day. Uh, but the little blood vessels that are in each glomerulus, there are a million glomerulus in your body, a million, okay? Uh, and they filter 24 hours. They're going all day and all night, about 50 gallons, yeah. But a lot of it, it's reabsorbed, uh, remember I told you. Uh, uh, and. Uh, Water is a lot of it, uh, and chemicals, sodium, potassium, uh, phosphorus are important uh, uh, chemicals. Uh, and we put out about two quarts a day that we ourselves do. Uh, and sometimes the kidneys stop working. And this is what I, it, my, my passion, frankly, is that we are not testing, running tests on the blood and the urine in us every time we get all our blood tests done. It should be done even on children because kidney disease it generally goes through five stages, and I will explain those to you in a little bit. Uh, but we're allowing uh, kidney disease to go to stage three, four, five, where we can 
maybe stop it, reverse it a little bit, tough to cure. But if we uh, did the right thing at stage one or two, but we don't know what, and we're not doing it because we're not running routine tests. So when you get a blood sugar, and, and I, I like people to get serum insulins too because that anticipates diabetes, which has 80% of kidney disease is from type two diabetes. Yes, a lot of people don't know that. So when they get routine blood sugars, it should get serum insulins and glomerular, remember I mentioned glomerulus fil filtration rate so that we catch uh, kidney on the path to advanced kidney disease very early and you can cure it. But if you allow it to go into stage four or five, you go into dialysis, kidney transplant, you may cut 10, 20 years of your life. And the way it is set up today, industry has set it up, and I, as a physician, think we are largely responsible, but industry has their hand in it. Uh, it it's about the money. These centers, uh, dialysis centers, transplant centers, uh, there's hardly anything in there about pre prevention. And this is what I'm to, trying to teach you today to prevent it. Now, if you got it already, and you may, after watching this program, you may go out and get some kidney tests by glomerular filtration rate, uh, and now discuss a little bit, some, find out what the albumin level and BUN level in the blood is, uh, and check also uh, creatinine and, and, and check it in the urine. You may go out and do that. Uh, and then what to do, I will discuss that also, okay, because I found some great uh, books on that, and I've done it, taught it to some patients who have reversed some of their renal disease, yeah. Even very, I have one uh, beautiful black lady who uh, I get rid of her diabetes. She was advanced renal failure, and now it, it's moderated, which you wouldn't even believe it, yeah. Year and a half, she's now looking beautiful too, because she lost 50 pounds. Her, her renal f failure is less. Uh, her diabetes is gone. It can be done. So I'd like you to uh, let this let me be today the start of your education. You've got to, It'll be more than just watching this show. You, and I'm going to hold up two books later. I'd like you to get them. You can get them in the library. You can't afford to buy them, but. They, they, very cheap, this big, thick book I'm going to show you, I think 15 bucks, okay? Yeah, but your life is there, okay? So I, and I'd like you to, uh, to read it a little bit. And, and what's interesting is, uh, uh, so we have a, acute renal failure, that's usually an injury or accident, uh, and if you can fix the problem there, usually the kidney goes back to normal function, yeah? But chronic disease uh, takes a long period of time, years. When you go into these five stages of kidney disease, it's a progression that occurs over 20 years. In the first three stages, uh, you have no symptoms whatsoever. You're in renal trouble, but you don't know it. And that is my objection. And that's the whole purpose today of what I'm doing is get tested. The, GFR rate, GFR rate at a very young age because a lot of effects of diabetes, 80% of renal disease is due to diabetes. It's not genetic. I mean, there are some rare conditions of renal disease that are genetic. Very rare though. That's maybe 5% of renal disease. The rest are ones that we can prevent, stop, or reverse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, listen carefully. Uh, so, chronic disease, long-term disease, uh, okay? And uh, uh, what do the kidneys do? Let's talk about that a little bit. Why are they so important to us, okay? Uh, and and uh, it's not just to excrete, to get rid of waste of our body from metabolism um, uh, of the day. Also, it has a lot to do with fluids and water. A lot of it is filtered through there and then reabsorbed. Uh, so water, 60% of our body is water. So we, so we get the point, okay? And uh, so an extracellular fluid, what we were speaking about, bathes every cell in your body. So the fluid is extremely important. Uh, 
and blood in your blood system, your plasma uh, is part of that system, and 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 it circulates throughout the body, and the heart pumps the water around. So the heart and heart disease is related to kidney disease. If pe people have kidney disease, they got heart disease. So you and and you can see their lifespan uh, is not normal. People do nothing about their kidney disease. They, they die 20, 30, 40 years ahead of their time. That can be prevented, stopped, reversed, avoided. This is what I'm speaking about, okay? And uh, so the kidneys uh, keep track of the amount of sodium, potassium, so electrolytes uh, uh, that are in, in your body, the nutrients. The kidney helps keep track of that. Uh, and it secretes a few hormones itself, like uh, our red blood cells that we need to send oxygen ar around uh, the body is, st is, is stimulated by a hormone called erythropoietin. It's made in the kidneys, so you know they're, they're, they're extremely important. And uh, so, but the lungs are a little bit similar, but they don't do anywhere near as much as kidneys do. Okay. Kidneys control the water, the salt, the electrolytes, the acids. Yeah, we have in our body what we call pH, uh, 7.35. Below is acidic uh, to 7.55, and that's alkaline. So uh, uh, acidic, uh, you, you can't live that long. So the body controls your pH in a very narrow level. But the body does that really for all chemicals, okay? That's not, it, it, for, for all chemicals in your body in a very narrow uh, range. But the hormones that, are, that originate in the kidney, remember I talked about the erythropoietin that makes the, the uh, red blood cells. It also makes a hormone called uh, renin, okay, which helps, can, works on uh, blood pressure, uh, for example. Uh, and an antidiuretic hormone so that you don't uh, eliminate all your water urinating out. The kidney makes a hormone anti against diuresis, getting, getting rid of, it, it helps control it. If you don't have that hormone, then you urinate out all your fluid and you will not live uh, very long, okay? Uh, and uh, so, uh, and that's called diabetes insipidus, where you don't have that hormone and you just, it's a very serious condition. And uh, it also helps contr control uh, sodium uh, and, and the adrenal glands, uh, they make aldosterone, another hormone, and that works with the kidney to control the uh, uh, amount of sodium that affects the kidney uh, and the heart. Uh, so. Uh, the, remember the adrenal gland has a lot of effect on the kidneys and has to do with aldosterone, has to do with vitamin D metabolism, which uh, controls a lot of your uh, uh, osteoporosis, calcium, uh, your bones, for example, is very uh, uh, important in, in a brain function. So what is a kidney failure? Uh, it's loss of filtration capacity. Okay, it can be blockage of circulation, could do that. You get severe arteriosclerosis. Uh, there could be a blockage of urinary outflow. Um, that you have kidney stones are blocking off both ureters. Maybe you have cancer. Maybe you've had an injury. Uh, and and in, uh, cancer in both kidneys or cancer of a kidney can be very serious. Uh, and some drugs are toxic to the kidneys. So, and, uh, uh, but if you have an acute failure, acute injury, uh, uh, you can make a recovery if you fix the problem that's doing it, okay? Uh, and there may be something else, a tumor from somewhere else is pressing on the kidney and you take that tumor out, the kidneys may fully recover. And, uh, and the kidneys uh, really will function even with a lot of injury or, di or disease. Uh, you've got to almost destroy two-thirds of kidney function before symptoms appear. That's great, but in a way, it's a problem 
because you don't know you're having a kidney problem uh, if you just go in symptoms. That's the reason I want you to get blood tested. The, the, the serum albumin, the protein, the creatine, uh, uh, x-ray sometimes, CT, MRI. I want you to keep, keep track of your kidneys even when you're feeling good because you'll avoid the path to an irreversible disease. That's my main point uh, today. I'm about prevention, okay? Uh, and uh, so how big a problem uh, is kidney failure, okay? And uh, probably at least uh, 600,000, they say in this book, but it's more like a million now are on dialysis. We have dialysis centers, and, that, and that's where they put a, a, a catheter uh, in your peritoneal cavity and a cavity in your belly, or uh, they, they hook up to your uh, artery and vein. Sometimes they connect the artery and vein, but by dialysis, uh, if you go to a center, it could take four hours, three days a week. Yeah, yeah. 12, 13 hours, you gotta go in there. That's the reason I want you to avoid this disease so you don't have to spend 12 hours in the dialysis uh, uh, center. And there are different forms of it. Uh, you could do it at home. Uh, you can do it through a catheter in the perineal cavity, but all of it is expensive, inconveniences, difficult to work uh, if you have these uh, uh, problems. Uh, and, and the cost could be unbelievable. It's so costly. It's now been established a Medicaid, uh, Medicare system where the government pays f for the majority of it. Mm -hmm. Through lobbying, they, they got it done and, and it, it's great for the patients. But what I'm saying is I like to avoid all that uh, in the first place because dialysis takes a lot of your time an inconvenience uh, and, and interferes with work and recreation and, and it's, it's something you have every single day and uh, it could be avoided the majority of the time. I mean, and not always. Uh, and uh, so uh, uh, when we have that many people being, a million people being dialyzed, the majority will end up needing transplants of kidneys and that's inconvenient. They gotta put you on steroids so you don't reject the kidneys and the steroids change your total body. You look differently, feel differently. Uh, and, and there's limited lifespan uh, uh, with uh, transplanted kidneys. And about a third of those patients who are waiting on a kidney die because there aren't any available uh, in, in, in your country or in your world. Uh, so yeah, they limit them. Uh, if you get advanced disease or diabetes, sometimes they will not allow you to, to have one. Yeah, uh, in parts of the world, they don't do transplant dialysis or transplants at all because they can't afford it. So especially like India and China, which have the largest number of diabetics, remember 80% of kidney disease is from diabetes. You can get rid of diabetes 90% of the time uh, by eating the right food. I actually teach that. Uh, uh, and you can go to YouTube, Rudy Cashman Diabetes, and I teach you how to get your di uh, diabetes. Uh, uh, and so you can run other tests too to see how your kidneys are doing by getting a serum creatine, that's a protein in, in the blood, and also check in the urine. And, uh, but most people are unaware uh, that the figures of creatine and albumin proteins in the blood and the urine, or BUN is another one, are elevated or depressed because you didn't get it checked. I recently had a total panel, panel done on, on things in my blood, uh, uh, and, and all those tests, fortunately, were normal. I, I get those tests done once a year, track them very carefully, and I eat right and I exercise, uh, so it's not something because I, I'm just lucky. No, I, I practice what I preach. I'm not bragging. I figure if I'm a teacher, I've got to follow my own recommendations and double check that way if they work. They work. Uh, they work. Uh, 
And people who have abnormal blood studies and urine studies, not everybody progresses into end-stage kidney disease. Like in Belgium, they found 50% of the people uh, progress into end-stage renal disease. But a lot of those countries, they walk more, they exercise more, they smoke less. So the other factors, smoking, alcohol, drinking, uh, all add to kidney disease. Smoking is particularly a bad one. Uh, uh, and uh, only 10% of the people who are, who are having renal disease, just listen to this, only 10% of the people who have renal disease are aware of it. Mm -hmm. I'm serious. Who's responsible for that? I think we in the medical profession, number one. But also uh, the dialysis people, uh, uh, the transplant people, the government, public health, congressmen who get bribed uh, so they don't pass out the information. Somebody is making money selling pharmaceuticals. So the pharmaceutical companies want you to take a pill. They don't want you to eat right, exercise right. You might get rid of the disease and they don't make any money. I'm speaking about the truth here, okay? That's huge, that's huge. Uh, uh, and 50% uh, of the people in renal failure do know they have diabetes. Uh, uh, many pe diabetics who, remember that's where a lot of the renal disease originally from, admitted to hospital for, for one reason, one of the complications from type 2 diabetes, uh, of, uh, for example, only six, they found a study that they found only 63% uh, did the people in the hospital run, run kidney tests to find out if they had kidney disease. Mm -hmm. Should have 100% should be tested for that uh, because majority of them have that. I know I've spoken to plenty of uh, clinical diabetics. They have no idea of their renal function. Their doctors have not brought it up. Uh, and uh, uh, so 30% uh, have elevated proteins in the urine. The kidney isn't filtering and, and keeping the protein, and the protein is wasting coming through the uh, filtering system, and they're, they're uh, urinating it out. Uh, if you have high protein in your urine, your urine will be dark, dark. Brown, for example, and if you look in the, uh, in, in the toilet, they'd be bubbly. We all excrete a certain amount of protein every day, uh, uh, but not that much. So it will be a little bit bubbly, but it's very bubbly uh, coming up. Get protein tests on the urine and the blood, and, and you may find out, I get a renal disease, and I'm gonna start eating right, exercising right, de-stress right, and get rid of my disease. It can be, especially in the early stages of kidney disease, uh, it can uh, be still reversed and progression could be stopped. Uh, there are five stages, remember what I said. Four and five are sort of end stage disease. People do not believe that they can be reversed, but they could be wrong. I'll tell you why. I have this uh, 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 beautiful black lady who was diabetes who and kidney disease, and I get, she didn't want to be dialyzed and transplanted, so I get, it's, it's a year and a half later now, she's rid of her diabetes, it's gone. She was, uh, we filtrate our urine uh, in the tests of, in the blood from 100 uh, down to zero, okay? So 100 would be, you have normal filtration, and it gets a little bit worse as we get a day older, okay? Uh, and when she was stage five and you saw me, so they would say she needed to be dialyzed and, and need a kidney transplant, but she didn't want that done. So I found uh, a couple of books, which I'm gonna hold up, uh, by Lee Hull, H-U-L-L, -L, a patient who really looked it up. A thousand medical references are, are, are in there. And I, I, I had her, and he also put out a cookbook and I hired, uh, a lady, Kelly uh, Metzger, who teaches cooking and taught this patient, this beautiful lady now, lost 50 pounds, her diabetes went away, and she now is filtering at 17% versus five. I don't know what the outcome in the long run is gonna be, there's nothing published on this at all, 
But I didn't give up on her. And, and when I saw her, I see her every two weeks. She's wearing beautiful clothes, earrings. And, and I told her if she keeps on following this cookbook in a year and, and, and her, the thing keeps on changing, I was going to buy her a new red dress. <laughs> it's, I'm t- starting to save the money to buy it you know, because it looks like she's getting there. Every time I see her, she's uh, thinner, waist less, less swelling. Her edema went away. So the kidneys are indeed working better. Uh, and she promised me, and I pray to God she comes through with that, she was going to bring me uh, f- uh, four or five more uh, people who, get, who are dialyzed. Incidentally, she mentioned to me, uh, uh, remember she, that the uh, black community has more people dying from this disease because they have more diabetes. It's not because they're black, because they're eating a lot of processed food. Uh, and so we need to teach that. But she's going to bring some to me, uh, and maybe uh, I can also uh, help them get rid of their the all diabetic and improve the glomerular function and, and save some lives. She said a lot of her friends are dying, and I'm for stopping, preventing, reversing, and saving lives. I'm doing it now, and I'll, I'll do it more. Uh, so uh, the majority of patients uh, that are on dialysis, uh, we have found have had no dietary instruction. And the majority that went to the hospital for some diabetic complication had no dietary instruction how to get rid of the diabetes. They weren't even aware they had kidney disease. They weren't even tested for it. That's how serious uh, th- th- this matter is, what I'm speaking about. Uh, uh, Pam, my uh, beautiful patient, and uh, uh, a lot of the diabetics and, and, and who have renal disease or undiagnosed go to the emergency room for some reason, okay? And they found that 30, 40 percent of those are in end stage kidney disease. Mm-hmm. They never had tests. They're totally unaware of it. They're going to be dead soon. I'm for stopping that. Uh, Okay. And and they checked their blood, and they found 60% had had, uh, uh, increased albumin. That's the main protein that we check in the blood and the urine. uh, It was elevated in the urine because the kidneys are failing. The albumin is filtering out. That is too low in the blood, too high in the urine. Uh, uh, and 51% were anemic. What I'm trying to prove, you know, a point to you. Uh, and uh, what, we, what we need is public health to step up to bat to help out here. And uh, uh, the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive Diseases has been lately stepping up to bat a little bit. But, but uh, I don't see the message on TV. I think it's needed there. Uh, uh, and, but even with them, there's no mention of prevention. Uh, they're about get dialyzed, get a new kidney, but there's no scenario on prevention is what we need, okay? Um, the National Institute of Health has started a little bit teaching the people. Uh, and, uh, uh, but what I say, we need to teach people how to prevent diabetes, which I have a half hour access TV show on Mondays at 6.30 if you want to watch it, or YouTube, uh, YouTube, Cashman, uh, Diabetes Stopping, Preventing, Reversing. You can look at 30, 40 TV shows I've done it. Uh, so, uh, and, the, and the thing is, of course, that most people are undiagnosed. That's what I want you to, to realize uh, and and the part, of the, part of the reason is we're not testing for it, number one. And, and notably, it, it, people have no symptoms. So with the medical profession on their yearly screening, which they should be doing in people, uh, and it starts at age 30 or some silly, I mean, it should be started much sooner than that, much younger than that, because a lot of teenagers, 18, 19, 20, got diabetes already. 
and not just type 1, type 2 diabetes, which is nutrition related. Uh, uh, there is some, some genetic diseases in your DNA, kidney disease, but those are not uh, common. But if everybody in your family has, has had kidney disease and diabetes, it's 90% of the time is you're eating the same food, processed food. Mm -hmm. Even people who have normal weight can have diabetes and kidney disease. You are what your blood tests show, okay? Yeah, 20, 30% of people of normal weight have these diseases anyway. So it's not just that you're overweight. Although I would say if you're overweight, 95% or higher of the people are diabetic. 60% of them are already in renal failure and they do not know it. It's a fact. Prove it to me that you're not. Wouldn't it be wonderful you run these tests and they're all normal? Yes, I mean, that would be great. But most of you, that would, that would not be the case. Uh, diabetes and kidney disease is more common uh, in men. Uh, African Americans particularly have a 30% higher incident too. I personally think is, is because they're eating more processed food. Maybe good food is not available, which is true. They, they live in food deserts, but still uh, we can talk about that all day. Uh, we need to pass out information that with the good non-processed foods are foods in the original uh, state. Uh, and uh, if you do have diabetes and renal failure, uh, first degree relatives have a higher incidence, okay? And uh, there is such a thing called polycystic kidney disease, but it's not common. It's genetic where you have cysts all over the kidneys and destroys the, the, the kidney. Uh, they don't develop symptoms until uh, between 30 and 50 years of age. So that's a, pro a problem, okay? Uh, and uh, what is, has not been emphasized about the kidney people either, uh, uh, that uh, what are the things that are bad for your kidneys? Well, the protein from meats are not good for the kidney. Proteins from plants are much healthier. We'll, we'll talk more about that. But they help establish the, the pH we talked about, balance. Are you more acidic, which is not good, or more alkaline, which is uh, uh, more healthy? You gotta be in that narrow uh, range. Uh, and the, the, if your uh, pH uh, drops a certain percentage, the kidney puts out ammonia uh, and to help make it more alkaline, okay? And uh, so the kidney does have some ability to keep you alive. So the kidney control the, the uh, bicarbonate level in the filtering system, but it's a limit to it, a certain amount of it, okay? It strains, uh, the uh, abnormal acids out, out of the uh, kidney. And, uh, and, and uh, the kidneys help protect the health of your bones too. And it's related to uh, uh, acidity. Uh, uh, the more acidic you are, uh, the more calcium, uh, phosphorus is released in the blood and you become, the bones become softer to try to save your kidneys but you may break your bones because they're too soft now, okay? And, uh, so, and, and uh, there's a, a parathyroid hormone uh, also uh, that's uh, regulated by hypothalamus and the kidneys, which af affect your phosphorus and calcium uh, metabolism. So people with kidney disease have softer bones and more likely to fracture an ankle, break a leg, break a tibia if they take a fall or a trip or in a minor accident. Uh, uh, um, so, and, and remember vitamin D is involved with this uh, also. And, uh, and uh, so in our body has powerful machines that operate around the clock of which kidneys, lungs, uh, they're working all the time. Believe it or not, so does your brain. 
you think you're sleeping, but your brain is uh, busy at, at work. Uh, uh, again, uh, so what I want you to do, get, when you get blood tests done, get a GFR, glomerular flotation rate. Let's find out where you're at, okay? Uh, and the problem, remember 100 is normal. If you're above 90, uh, your kidneys are, are, are working fine, although uh, if it's acidic, you still got to have, have a problem. But things start happening at around 60 or so. Or so. Things can still be stopped, reversed a bit between 60 and 30. But if you're uh, uh, filtering at, at 30, you're in stage four or five, and, and uh, it will not be easy to turn things around. Uh, so get your tests done in, in the blood and the urine, okay? Uh, so if you're less than, filtering less than 60, uh, uh, you've got significant impairment. You're heading for trouble, and you're having symptoms. That's stage three or four. You're having symptoms now, and you, you feel depressed. You're anxious. You lose your energy. Uh, you're, you're having uh, uh, symptoms. Even at stage three, where you still could turn things around, uh, you, 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 you may be losing your energy and and, uh, but if they don't run the test, you still won't be diagnosed, okay? And uh, so the creatinine uh, is a protein we can check in the blood. Uh, it's a protein uh, based on muscle metabolism. When you use your muscles uh, at, and, and then check your, some of the muscle cells will break down. Uh, you build them back up the same day, but uh, break down, it'll release creatine. Uh, uh, and but many proteins, when amino acids break apart from, from uh, your muscles, there could be 400 different amino acids. Uh, albumin is just the most common one, okay? And uh, uh, so it, if uh, the, uh, so it has to be a, a certain level, if it's too low, uh, the albumin in, in your blood, your kidney is filtering it out uh, because the filtering, filtering system is not working. Another measure is uh, for protein from muscles, uh, for example, or protein in general is your BUN. Okay, that's in your blood. It should be less than 20. Uh, if it's higher than 20, then you wonder if there isn't a problem. Uh, uh, normal is 6 to uh, 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 20. So urine testing is important, but a little more difficult. Now they, they screen mainly through the blood. They, they check the uh, uh, creatine albumin level, for example. Uh, uh, and the, when our muscles break down every night, you, you use them through the day, there's going to be some breakdown. Your exercise is going to be more. 80% of the proteins that we do to build up uh, 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 muscles and hormones, enzymes, which are related to, to protein. 80% is recycled. Yeah, only 20% we take in. Here's one which most people don't know, and I talked to a doctor yesterday. He didn't know, I didn't always know, that if we take in too much protein, eight, say steak seven days a week, and maybe a supplement too, the, the body needs a certain amount of protein. Uh, if you're taking in more than you need, it's converted to sugar. Sugar. Yeah, so all these guys that are working out, taking all these supplements and extra things, uh, and, and they look like they're getting bigger. It's not all muscle. They're developing diabetes. Yeah, isn't that interesting? Uh, so, yeah, what you eat every day, uh, you should have, be conscious. A normal person, about 20% protein of what you're eating, okay? Uh, and if you take, so we have a certain amount of protein that we sh should consume, but it's different in kidney patients, especially kidney disease, where it can turn, uh, make your blood acidic. Uh, so uh, let me hold up now. Uh, a Lee Hull wrote a book. And I'd like you to hold it up for you. Uh, real cheap, okay? I bought it. You can get it on the internet. 
stopping kidney disease. Let me tell you about Lee Hall. Uh, Lee Hall had uh, kidney disease, and he was heading for a dialysis and a transplant, but he, he wasn't exactly in love with that. He started researching. Uh, he was reading scientific papers, there, the summary of which uh, in this book, very easy to read. Uh, and and if, if you have kidney disease already, even if you don't, don't have it all, and you just become non knowledgeable, great book to read. And uh, chapters on, on acidity and, and, and protein and, and, and sugar. And, and, uh, and then, of all things, he publishes uh, a cookbook. He called the Stopping Kidney Disease Food Guide. So what he's telling you here is, is uh, what, and pictures of the foods, okay? And Pam, this wonderful lady I'm speaking about, she has both these books. Uh, Lee, Lee Hall has a phone number in there, and he's answered when she's called a couple of times, and I say to, to Lee Hall right there. Right there. And, uh, and you will know then, uh, because the pro what you take in, the protein, for example, uh, it's different in, in, in kidney disease. You need a certain amount, but you don't need too much. You, 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 your blood it needs to be a certain alkaline acidity. How to achieve that is through the recommendations in there, through the recipe. So, and, and seek additional help, but those are good guides. Let me go over the stages of kidney disease uh, with you a little bit here. Uh, stage one is where your GFR, glomerular filtration rate, is above 90, okay? And, and uh, you may have some kidney damage uh, evidence, uh, but it's really minimal, okay? And, but you can get additional tests too, a CT scan, MRI scan, ultrasound, to show you, hey, what's the condition? Is it full of cysts? Uh, what size is it? People can actually live off one kidney. One kidney can be gone, and the other kidney will get a little bigger, and people can have a normal life. For example, if you had cancer or a tumor in one, and that kidney is gone, you can live on one kidney without any problem. Uh, and as I mentioned, the function of a kidney has to be reduced tremendously before you have symptoms. But the danger is you may come to a stage where you're near the end and I don't want it to happen to you. Stage two, uh, yes, a mild reduction, so you're less than 90, the GFR, uh, and you might find a little bit of evidence on MRI or, or a CT, but, a, a, but at um, stage three, which is a filtration rate of sort of 30 to 59, 30 to, to 59, uh, but, but at that point, you'll see some changes in the CT or, or MRI. Something's going on here, and things are getting serious. Stage four uh, is severe kidney condition. You may be heading for dialysis in the stage five to transplant. You're on the road uh, to uh, kidney failure, disability, maybe death, your years are numbered. That's the reason I want you to avoid it, these advancing stages. And uh, at stage three, you, you may feel fatigue, have some swelling, but if you have unexplained swelling, watch out. Actually, a, a good test without going to a lab uh, is take your thumb in the tibia, the front of your leg, uh, the bone and skin are right next to each other. If you can get a thumbprint in there and, and then keep it on there half a minute, you take it off and you see a deep hole there, you get swelling down there, get a kidney test. Uh, I know an internist who uses that over lab test in the beginning. She, she says it's very accurate. Interesting. Yeah, I, I, review the chapter she had written about it. And uh, so, uh, uh, so again, due to poor streaming,
poor screening and no symptoms, we're catching kidney disease in advanced stages. We need to stop that. We need to stop that, okay? Uh, and, 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 and remember, I said good test, good mineral filtration test, serum creatinine, BUN, albumin. Very early, very early on the path to kidney problems, we can have a micro, I mean it's small, albumin, albumin, which is a protein, uh, it, it's a smaller molecule than most other proteins. You can check for it uh, uh, in the urine and, and to get a protein creatinine ratio uh, test. Uh, uh, lab tests will run that and you can catch very early too, okay? So that's important. And uh, so what are signs and symptoms of advanced uh, kidney disease? It's advancing, okay? Stage three or so, fatigue, lack of energy, sleep changes, dizziness, trouble concentrating, decreased oxygen, short of breath, feeling chilled, having chills all the time, feel like I'm choking, don't have enough oxygen, flank pain, remember I said where the kidneys are located, uh, muscle cramping at night, all of a sudden your muscles cramp up, uh, or electrolyte problems where your sodium, potassium uh, out of whack, loss of appetite, GI problems, nausea, vomiting, uh, changing urinary habits, these all indicate the path to renal disease. Many people think something else going on and they're not being diagnosed. But remember, swelling is a big one. And that thumb imprint test on the front of your tibia is a good one. So uh, uh, other things that affect, of course, the disease is, is what you're eating. Remember, I talked about that. Uh, and you can, uh, diabetes is what causes all this. It causes heart disease, kidney disease. Remember, kidney disease, heart disease are closely uh, re related amplifications, dislocation, liver disease, renal disease, thyroid disease, unannounced heart attacks, dementia, all related to uh, diabetes. Diabetes is what causes it. So you should think of what's the cause of this? You get rid of that by proper lifestyle and eating. I can get rid of diabetes 90% of the time, people, six weeks, uh, six weeks. And what I'm teaching lately uh, is for people to eat sort of the keto way for the day, not missing days or weeks uh, uh, of fasting, for example, just that day uh, to eat good fats, 60 70%, good fats, okay? 20% protein, 15% of fruits and vegetables. That's the pyramid. You can see it on my website. Um, Susan Ryan has written a great book. You can get it on the internet. She, she describes the diseases. She herself used to weigh 289, now she weighs 180, I think. No diabetes, looks beautiful. So it can be done. Susan Ryan, I don't have her book with me, I hold that up for you too. <laughs> I could hold up 10 books for you. And, uh, but that's a very good book to read, How to Grid of the Diabetes and Your Renal Disease will be gone too. Yeah, isn't, it, isn't it great? Uh, so, uh, so, uh, uh, you could prevent the disease, stop it, reverse it. Uh, uh, and, uh, and the government you know, showed us poor food permits in the last 50 years. They used to tell us that fat is bad. 50 years they told us that. Mm -hmm. Industry lobbying, sugar industry, they all, because sugar leads to fat, they all lobbied uh, and made the country sick. Look around, look around, look around, I mean. Uh, today what you're looking at. But remember, 20% of the thin people are also diabetic and have kidney disease, 20%. But if you overweight, get these tests done, 95% chance you get diabetes, serum insulin, get the kidney test done, as I already mentioned, because you also may have kidney disease. You may feel good in the early stages of kidney disease. You feel great. Stages one through two, you feel normal, but you're heading towards dialysis and transplant, okay? Uh, uh, and uh, uh, milk generally is restricted because it's full of phosphorus uh, and potassium and certain minerals. Uh, uh, proteins are important in the building blocks in our body. 
and we, and we need them, they control our enzymes and our hormones, but it should be limited because it, it helps create uh, pH uh, uh, problems. The kidney can only han handle a certain amount, but these books have in the, the recipes the, the way you should eat uh, and see, uh, and use other references, okay? I'm open-minded, okay? But, but generally, we're eating more than needed, and we sh we're, we're having, uh, causing our kidney problems. Uh, how much protein do we need? Stages one to three, about 0.75 grams per kilo is, is what athletes maybe a little bit, a little bit more. Uh, but in later stages, we need to reduce it significantly because our kidneys can't handle it. And uh, so uh, avoid processed food, uh, thickenings, flavorings, colorings, because they are chemicals that your liver and your kidney will have to detoxify and it might not be able to handle it, okay? Make sure your foods are free of pesticides, environmental contaminants, so eat uh, uh, vegetables um, uh, and fruits are more alkaline. Meats are more acidic. You want to be more alkaline, okay? And uh, so buy fresh food, okay? Uh, and if the food is processed, then remove the covering and the brand and you're eating nothing but the sugar, uh, it's going to be unhealthy. Your, your diabetes is coming back. And if you're sort of eating ketone, ketones uh, result uh, when your insulin blood sugar level goes up, your fat cells open up, let fat out, uh, goes to the blood, turns into albumin, goes to, the, it goes to the liver, made into ketones, and you're living off ketones. Your brain loves ketones. Your organs love ketones. That's a very healthy way to get rid of diabetes and kidney disease. And, and I like fasting in the sense, I like time fasting, not half a day or a day. 16 hours you don't eat, eight hours you eat. And if one of those two meals you're eating, um, for example, is a very healthy breakfast of good, of, uh, good fats, okay? Uh, and you can in include some fruit, for example, some vegetables, for, uh, for example, uh, and make it a huge meal. And then your other meal, you eat around 6 o'clock. What you're doing is time fasting. You're going to be very healthy without having to miss days or fast for a month or whatever. You don't need to do that, okay? And so the best sources of proteins are egg whites. Uh, the yolks may be not quite as good, uh, but yolks are uh, still healthy. I mean, they'll talk about the cholesterol, but you know, the cholesterol theory disease is going away. I personally think the whole egg, but in this book, he says not too much of the yolk, although it's okay. Fish, lean beef or pork, skinless poultry, uh, turkey. Uh, so uh, proteins from plants, uh, are the be clearly the best over animal uh, proteins. They're metabolized uh, differently, and uh, uh, so. But if you, but you can eat other proteins like uh, from milk, cheese, yogurt, but limited, limited. Okay, and uh, uh, real food is what, you, what you're looking for. Uh, one thought is if it has a label, don't eat it. It's been processed. You can't trust them. Uh, what, what's in there now, and uh, uh, so, and, and read the labels. I mean, uh, trans fats are the bad f fats. Saturated fats, uh, actually, uh, they now find out through research, actually quite healthy, yeah. And, uh, uh, but good fats, uh, guac guacamole, uh, uh, olive oil, different, polyunsaturated fats from olive oil, for example, are uh, healthy. And fats turn your appetite off. I know that because I, I eat good fats. I'm not hungry. Yeah. And uh, it's kind of interesting, isn't it? And uh, so, uh, and look for on the label. Uh, remember, I don't like you to have to read labels, but uh, keep the phosphorus within, that's one of the electrolytes. Uh, uh, 
that affect kidney function and uh, and 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 maybe look for the uh, potassium which is more commonly found in tomato juice juices are full of sugar so juicing is not a good idea okay but to have a smoothie where you still have all the fiber uh, is much more healthy if you were to check your blood sugar after having a smoothie you probably wouldn't raise up much but if you're juicing it's, it's high sugar and that'll increase your appetite you want to eat something sugary sugar substitutes watch out for them uh, you'll see well you know we can use uh, stevia but stevia changes the brain and, cha and changes your gut bacteria your friends living down there trillions of them okay they're alive okay they're living down there uh, changes them so the next thing you, you want to eat what do you, what do you think you want to eat something sweeter that's the problem with any of these splendor any of these sugar substitutes you're just uh, going to remain a sugar addict, uh, and when, when, when you're eating uh, more sugar, keto metabolism gets turned off like that. Uh, and uh, remember, I want you to get into ketone uh, a, a bit to get rid of your uh, diabetes, lose weight like that. And uh, uh, the uh, tips for eating right, okay? Remember, eating is really the main thing here. Uh, be picky about your protein. Learn more about it. Uh, uh, read these uh, books. Remember, a vegetable protein is more healthy. Uh, drink plenty of water every day, okay? Uh, remember, our body is 60% water, okay? You notice what I got right here? <laughs> so I don't lose my voice. Uh, and. Uh, and manage your minerals, pay some attention to your sodium, potassium, phosphorus. But for 50 years, the kidney people told us a, ki a, a kidney diet was really watching those minerals and nothing else. They were wrong. That's part of it. But that's maybe 25% of it. It, uh, it isn't the whole thing, okay? Avoid processed food. We mentioned that already. Uh, eat net nutrient-dense food. Foods of color are your mother. <laughs> Okay, uh, and uh, portion size, to be honest with you, if you're eating healthy, portion size doesn't matter. If you're eating especially ketone uh, type way, uh, you don't have much of an appetite. So portion size is almost uh, irrelevant. Uh, and avoid sodas, fruit juices, okay? Sports and energy drinks are healthier for you. Uh, so, uh, let me summarize a little bit. Uh, I got through most of my uh, talk here. The main purpose of my lecture today uh, is to drive home to you that you get tested properly. Uh, frankly, any age, any age, even kids, yeah, they don't test their blood sugars much till age 10 or so, and they're missing most of the diseases. Uh, uh, get blood sugar, serum insulin, and, and then the kidney test. Glomerular filtration rate, serum creatine, albumin, their ratios. Almost don't need the urine test, uh, or BMN, forget I mentioned that. Uh, get those so that if you do have the beginning stages, five stages of kidney disease, you can easily, by, by getting some information and, and, and proper uh, teaching yourself or coaching, or did like Lee Hall did, 20 years since been diagnosed with a man's kidney disease, he's feeling fine, he's looking good, uh, he did the research, you don't have to do the research, just read his books because I want you to gather some more uh, uh, information. I see people for free uh, on Fridays, uh, and you can, you can call uh, Kelly, 438-0203. That's her phone number. I see them for free on Fridays. And I will personally coach you. It would be my pleasure. And, and, uh, and every day I think about Pam, how I've taken this beautiful uh, uh, black lady, lost 50 pounds, uh, reversed her renal disease. She's going to bring in more people where I can 
uh, do that again, and if she brings those in, we will then publish a, a paper. So I am not giving up on the people who have this disease. So I teach prevention, stopping, and reversing. Why did I do that? I'm a doctor. I love you. I care about you. If you walk past me, say hello, give me a hug, or tap dance with me, or challenge me to a pickleball match, which I played today already in the hot sunshine. <laughs> and uh, thanks again for listening uh, uh, to me today. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> I love you. <laughs>